Hello there, and good morning. I'm currently testing this using my cell phone camera, rear camera. I'm not actually able to see what this looks like. Hope you can see some. I, I apparently have a thing where I have a cat on me every morning. Or evening. Or anytime. Hello! Um, so, let's see. This morning, it's a nice, balmy, negative... To Celsius outside. Um, for those of you that use Fahrenheit, that's 29 or so? 29, 28, somewhere around there. Oh, yes, I do actually wear glasses. The reason why I wasn't wearing them in the previous videos was because it was reflecting too much off of my monitor. Or reflecting too much of my monitor. That would make more sense. Can't believe I'm actually doing this for the third day. Woo! Um, one of the people in the comments, the only comment, I should say. Hi, Ben. Um, was talking about the Kickstarter that I'm actually a backer for. It's Torment Tides of Numenera. I hope it's Numenera. Numenaria? I'm going to call it Tides of Numenera. Whether it is or not, that's entirely irrelevant. In any case, this is a Kickstarter for the spiritual successor to Planescape Torment, which is my favorite D&D-based video game of all time. And I do mean favorite as in... Everything else looks like ants by comparison. I'm not a huge fan of the rest of the series because of the combat system. Landscape Torment, you can avoid combat. We're pretty close to the entire game, so that's great. It's open-ended, there's 15 different ways of solving problems. It reminds me of real pen and paper board gaming. Pen and paper board gaming? I suck today. Pen and paper role-playing. I have no idea if you can even see my hands right now. So, I actually wanted to talk a little bit about pen and paper role playing, or pen and paper board gaming as I tried to say. Um, I am currently working on my own role playing system. I mentioned this a little bit on the first episode. My role playing system is, well, it's supposed to be, at least, a very simplified role-playing system that's generic. Um, if you are familiar with GURPS or any other sort of generic role-playing system, I guess D20 minus all of the D&D trappings would be generic, but the idea is that you can use this system to adapt to whatever you want. In fact, actually, one of my design goals is to be able to port any campaign to the system, characters and all. That's a bit ambitious. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but... Well, I still haven't written up most of the system. The concept behind the system is rather simple for anybody that's familiar with role-playing. You roll a die, add a number, subtract a number. That's pretty much it. In this case, as long as the total is above one, you at least marginally succeed at whatever you are trying to do. So, for instance, if you're trying to... Yes, Isun, I know. You're hungry. You're always hungry. For instance, if you're trying to leap over a chasm in a collapsing cave, you roll, you succeed. You get a 10 total. You are awesome. You just look like you were effortlessly jump over that chasm. Absolutely no problems. Nothing. Say instead you roll a 2. You still succeed, but you're not succeeding by as much. So whatever ends up happening is a success, but there may be some drawback. You might not have succeeded entirely. In the case of the chasm, most likely you narrowly grip the edge, pull yourself up, and then get hit on the head with a couple of rocks while you're going. That's the type of system it is. Um, one of my design goals is, one, combat should take less than 15 minutes total. Two, the system itself off the table. Ah, uh, silly kitties. The system itself should take maybe an hour to learn. I'm pretty sure that last part's a little ambitious. And three... Yeah, I did actually say two other things. And three, I want the role-playing system to be something that anybody can pick up, understand, and might be willing to give a shot at. It's got to be welcoming, it's got to be lots of things. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to succeed at any of that, but, you know, it's worth a shot. <sighs> Cat... Uh, that's my cue to go. Enjoy.